And signs and moons, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. I do appreciate you for your membership. All right. For those that are on the membership only reading tier, there will be a reading over there for you. It is currently uploading by the time I upload this reading it should already be posted so if you subscribe to that tier it should be a reading for you we're going to go ahead and clarify these energies here all right i hope everyone enjoyed their weekend okay remember this is past present our future energies so what we're going to do first is we're going to go in and uh we're going to go in and get these cards that are on the fence. Interesting enough, we got my zoo. So that's one of my new cards there. So this is telling me somebody may be experiencing some issues regarding uh, a tsunami or some sort of natural disaster. But you're definitely a psychic. Somebody could also be in a coma uh, or something like that or some sort of hypnotic state. All right, there could be a change in weather wherever you are. Why is the Hermit card here? All right, we got rest. Okay, so yeah, this person can't rest because whatever information that they may be finding out that's having to do with something that took place in the past, whether if it's you or someone else, this person feels lonely. Okay, this is also somebody that keeps repeating a past um, actions. They may have did this in a past life. Somebody may be trying to figure out how they got themselves in this situation. Okay, this person can't rest. Okay, they may be up late uh, doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Okay, some of you, you could be you could be uh, business owners. And so, you know, you have to work really hard when you are an entrepreneur. All right. Some of you may be drinking a lot of caffeine, whether if it's coffee, tea, okay, or um, sodas or something like that. Okay. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Hold on. This is going to be a lot of interruptions on this as I just got a lot of interruptions. So we got somebody that was not operating out of their higher self. Okay. This is surrounding some sort of gift or something tangible. This person was in their lower nature. Okay. Very confrontational, whether if this is you or someone else. But I do feel like there was some sort of altercation in the past. Okay. All right. So this could have something to do with... Um, Something that took place when you were sleeping, and that could be metaphorical, okay? That you may have not been woke, woke when you encountered this person, or this person wasn't conscious of who they were getting money to, giving money to, or investing in in the past. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into some of these reversed cards here which we have the Hermit in reverse, and we also have the Empress in reverse. Why is the Hermit card here in reverse, please? This is one of the, my new cards, too. Please excuse my child in the back. We're talking about condemnation, forcing someone to be in or accept a situation that is weighing heavy on their souls, Okay. Somebody participated in the lie, okay, or tried to cover up a lie or some sort of difficult situations. This is someone that was fearful. They're definitely fearful now, and they could be in isolation here. This person feels lonely, okay? Somebody's needing to go in and figure out why they do the things that they do. More than likely, this was uh, a competition here over someone's soulmate. Why is the Empress here in reverse? Yeah. So somebody wanted to be a divine counterpart here or they wanted a position that was not meant for them, at least not with this person. So we got it's time to dig deeper. There's a partnership, a spiritual partnership that somebody's overlooking. And interesting enough, in the members of uh, the membership only reading section, tier three, it talks about a spiritual partnership. So you may be resonating with that energy or you may need to up level a tier right but we're talking about 
going within and figuring out why someone doesn't feel worthy of this throne here of this equal partnership now this also tells me you are mirroring each other so some of you you may have dealt with somebody uh it could be someone that you have a child with or maybe not this person is 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 someone that lacks maturity okay this is someone that wants something and they haven't worked for it is also what I'm getting. All right. This is somebody that's scattered in their thinking, scattered in their emotions. This is someone that's very wasteful. OK, whether if it's male or female, someone needs to figure that out and they're going to gain some sort of clarity and there's going to be a judgment. OK, and it's going to be um, something that's unexpected or unpredictable with the tower being here. Why is the King of Cups here, please? Yeah, there was a fight. It, it, it went right on top of the Knight of Swords. So somebody lost a fight, um, possibly a physical fight or maybe even a, um, a divinity fight. A fight, you know, between good and evil, a principality or something like that. Okay, but this is speaking about an altercation. Now, if you hear a couple of bleeps, bleeps, I might have to bleep out that word. OK, you know what word it was, but definitely there was a fisticuff here. Somebody could have acted out aggressively during the full moon. Somebody could be a tourist or somebody felt like they had to defend a position that they were supposed to release, whether if it's a spiritual position or a actual job or a relationship. Knight of Cups, why is this here, please? <sighs> OK. So be mindful of drinking and driving, okay? Somebody can't move forward. Um, somebody may have even gotten a ticket for DUI in because that's right on top of the Knight of Cups that is going backwards, okay? So in the first reading, it talked about someone that may have stopped um, indulging in whatever it is, but they went back, Okay, possibly because they were intertwined in some sort of partnership here that they needed to release. Okay, and so I do feel like when they around this person, they may have to drink or they may have to be intoxicated or something to be in this partnership. We got Archangels Muriel, Second Sphere, Dominion Angels. So a cancer could be involved here, or this is about someone's um, mother child okay or this just need somebody needs to balance their feminine energy or the way they feel about feminine energies this is someone that likes to dominate situations whether if it's a male or a female this person feels overwhelmed and they feel an imbalance because they don't follow their intuition Whoever this is, they're in this energy of the one that got away. They lack discipline, self-control. So more than likely, they are trying to... My son is really doing the most out there, right? They are trying to control people in their environment with some sort of traditional belief system, okay? The chariot, why is this here? In the not going anywhere. We got the chariot here and the chariot there. So this tells me somebody can't move forward, okay? We have a contradiction. Don't try to justify an irrational decision. Stop making excuses here. Okay, so somebody's just lazy, and that's the reason why they want to stay in this partnership or belief system. They don't want to do the work. Okay, and this is someone that likes an entourage, they like for people to admire them. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in the split? Everybody does, but not to the point where you try to control people with, you know, with lies and manipulation. And here we have it. This came out in the membership only readings. Project and distort the energy light or participate in the lie to cause a separation. And this was something that was faded because this person withheld their feelings. They held money. They held time and they was giving it to someone that they felt played the part or looked apart, okay? At that time, this person was in alignment with this person because they were fearful. They were materialistic. They had some sort of bondage, possibly some uh, past life karma with this person. King of Cups. 
with all these same cards coming out, this is telling me that some of you are dealing with people that are the same sign as you or they have multiple signs in their environment um, that is the same sign as you. So if this person was doing a reading, it was very hard for them to interpret who was doing what, especially if they were going to a reader that um, was traditional in a sense that they didn't have... A 360 degree knowledge okay so because we got two Tauruses here they would say this Taurus is doing that uh, or that Taurus is doing that but that Taurus could have been Sun Moon rising it could have been in um, your seventh house or in your south node or north node and it was causing some sort of confusion here why is King of Wands here Somebody was someone's go-to person here. They were going to someone that was in alignment with them. And this person was in the energy of lying. Okay. Possibly by omission. And so this was, was this was something that was faded in the sense that you possibly triggered this person. And they possibly triggered you. So you had to transmute this energy, okay? Kali Ma could be significant. You're dealing with somebody that was very egotistical and prideful. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please? Make sure to check out the first reading. Howard Ken wanted to come out. Somebody needs to take ownership. They're possibly having to take ownership for what they participated. They took a risk. Uh, you know, that came out in the third tier reading also. Somebody who takes risk, they're a risk taker, or you're going to have to take a risk, okay? So somebody is starting from beginning. They could have also went to someone that was in the beginning stages of whatever it is they do, especially if this is a reader. So their perception wasn't all the way clear. We got structure is needed. There's an issue surrounding your beliefs, church, political party. OK, I'm hearing there's no absolutes in spirituality. So be mindful of people that um, say this. This is certain. This is certain. Or, you know, they, they try to. They try to make someone believe that whatever they're saying is actual facts. But when we're dealing with spirituality, there is no facts. Because, again, people lose their divinity every day. We're constantly tested. And it's about integrity. We have a law of pragmatism, a logical approach to a perceived problem. And it came out with structure is needed. So there was a belief system issue. All right. You may have been religious or spiritual, and they were the opposite of that. So this person wasn't willing to take a risk here. They weren't flexible. All right. This person may have withheld money from you because they may have felt like that's what you wanted them for. And in a sense, they had people in their energy that only dealt with them because they may have been someone of status is what I'm getting. OK, now this person is in this energy of condemnation. They need to redeem their soul here. OK. They may have also walked away from someone that was very cutting to you or to them or just people in general, or that's what they're being guided to do. Yeah. This is somebody that they have a marriage with or a long term commitment. This queen of swords here. So definitely they're they're not in good energy. If this is not an actual divorce or a separation, this is someone that they constantly argue with. It could be somebody that they have children with. Tower. We have the altar, okay? Archangel Ariel is here. So this is about somebody's prosperity or lack thereof. You could be an Aries or something could happen in Aries season. We have Lion of God, protection. Somebody also could be a Leo. We talk about balance and harmony. So for some of you, you are gaining some sort of prosperity. You may be being called to venerate your ancestors, possibly, um, you know, go make an altar or go to your altar here. Ariel may be one of the archangels that assists you. But we're also talking about someone needing courage and strength to persevere through this tower here. OK, because there's going to be a shift some kind of way with balance and harmony because the scales have to be balanced. We got to pay attention 
to who calls you or who and what you see after you do your cleansing rituals. That's your soul tribe. This is the the angels that are around you. you got Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Ariel. That is significant to someone. Somebody is used to doing things by themselves or somebody's going to have to start all over again and they're going to have to have better discernment. All right. Somebody that was given information, sharing information about you or maybe this was you here is a part of this tower. Yeah. So for some of you, it's a childhood friend, an associate, a colleague. OK, they know the truth about someone that is doing some sort of altar spell. OK, this could be a reader or someone that deals with the collective of people. Deuces.